Welcome to AmiCast, podcast about Amiga computers. I'm your host, Krzysztof Radzikowski, but call me Krzysztof or Radzik. Hi, uh, today we will talk about the um, new uh, ebook uh, about Amiga OS uh, 3.1.4. Uh, I Basically, I wrote it uh, only in Polish language, but I would like to show you what it's about. So uh, the new ebook uh, is about the um, emulation, but not only emulation of of the newest uh, Hyperion uh, product. Uh, and this is, of course, product for a classic Amiga. Uh, as you know, I hope, uh, I already wrote two books about the Amiga OS 4, about emulation and about every day. Uh, situations with the the uh, Amiga X5000 uh, and so on. So I decided because I uh, two years ago I bought this uh, this classic new system, and I decided um, let's maybe do the same, and uh, let's try to make this system updated to to today's situations possible. Of course, because no, it's it's not the uh, NG system or it's not a PC. But basically, I focused uh, the whole solutions about the emulation and the first target uh, in the book and uh, is and was the Raspberry Pi and Raspberry Pi uh, version three uh, because the Amibian one one point four is uh, is the um, Free version and Raspberry Pi free uh, version free is uh, let's say um, quite cheap when you buy it uh, use it or maybe if you buy it uh, in new uh, but uh, but it's not about only Raspberry Pi it's about uh, emulation in general because I use FS UAE uh, as well and Win UAE here uh, so um, this is the complete walkthrough how to install the uh, emulation uh, Amiga OS 314 on the emulation, uh, but uh, not only because um, it's not all about only emulations. About the how you buy the OS, uh, how you buy the Raspberry Pi, of course. Uh, what you need to install, and then uh, we are uh, focus uh, how to upgrade the pure clean OS to to some cool stuff uh, so this means uh, so you will learn about for example pdf in amiga os3 um, how to use it uh, which software is is cool uh, and which uh, you can basically use um, for pdf reading uh, for, for, for new pdfs because the uh, apdf is really old and basically make no sense to use it at all uh, and of course this is the amiga stuff there are some installation de and details for amiga os and for uh, other stuff like uh, amiberry which is used for um, emulation on uh, under the raspberry pi on or, or amian uh, we have some uh, other stuff uh, i put uh, uh, about the tools, uh, special not only Amiga OS, mm, typical uh, tools from the installation, but uh, other tools like uh, multimedia. Uh, we use uh, uh, pic, uh, pic uh, show to to show the pictures, for example, Riva, and basically it is. Uh, uh, of course, it's working better under emulation uh, than uh, without on the real uh, six sixty eight K processor, whatever you have. But basically. Mm, the, the system I will talk later is uh, quite l light, so you can use it on the standard Amiga. And you uh, and I created with this book the cover uh, CD, uh, like I call it, but it's cover um, basically ISO file. Uh, and I put some rare stuff, now rare because, like a Frogger, Frogger, you can find on iMinet the keys for this, but you cannot uh, find the latest uh, Frogger uh, application and uh, I think it's really cool uh, video player mm, so this can give you the let's say modern feeling of Amiga uh, uh, and, and so on so on like I said on emulation uh, you can uh, even play 
the uh, MP4 files uh, and uh, animation files uh, on, on the new software like uh, AMI player, what is shown here. Uh, then I have the, um, uh, of course, the internet, because uh, without internet, nothing is cool. Uh, even on classic Amiga, you can use it. You can use it the newest eyebrows, but you can as uh, well, uh, and it's really easy. You don't need uh, any special software on the emulation, but you can use as well mm, the great NetSurf, and the emulation is uh, powerful enough uh, to to use it mm, more often than than in real uh, Amiga situations. And the ebook uh, is uh, uh, or uh, has a, a index file, so it's uh, made, uh, so every application which I used here is 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 placed here with the page number and of course, because it's only ebook, uh, it's easy and uh, jump link, so you can get direct jump, and on the ebook you have uh, already uh, Aminet link uh, because most software is uh, is is, uh, is available. Uh, in the Aminet, uh, of course you will uh, learn here how to use and basic configure the D Opus 4, uh, how to um, archive some or extract some files uh, uh, and so on. So this can be basically the idea behind this book is how to make your system from the scratch, from the zero and not using the uh, mm, Pre-install it or ready to made system like uh, classic uh, classic uh, workbench uh, or something like that. It's really cool, but here you can learn uh, how to make it on your own. And uh, like I said before, I, uh, as I mentioned, the system of course is for emulation with Picasso 94 with graphic card. But here is prepared everything so light. Mm, we don't use uh, heavy software, we use the magic user interface in older version. So this system is really uh, ready for the real, uh, not so powerful Amiga. So I think you can uh, really use it on the uh, 1200 with the, some fast RAM. Of course, under the, the, the link uh, in this description uh, of the video, uh, you will find the Polish version of this ebook, but it's only to preview you the contest. Uh, if somebody is interested, please feel free to leave the comment. Maybe we'll make the English version. Maybe somebody need um, something like this to to learn the uh, Amiga OS from from scratch and to put it uh, uh, on your own the Amiga OS 3.1.4 uh, on your real Amiga hardware or even on your emulation or PC or a Raspberry Pi and uh, enjoy the. Mm, let's say the classic way of uh, living with the new uh, Hyperion OS uh, and prepare maybe us for uh, new updates or new version of the classic Amiga OS for us. Thanks.